are just too much work, too expensive. And one day, this Wisconsin dairy farmer from about 45 miles north of Milwaukee did something that most people would think it's just, well, unimaginable. Yeah, he got rid of all his cows, every last one shipped out. Years later, Fox 6's Henry Rossoff shows you why the livestock he replaced them with has made him known worldwide. Welcome to Adele, Wisconsin, the heartland. Out here, traditional Wisconsin farmers raise cows because, well, they've done it for years. I love dairy farming. Larry Lokes' family farm is part of that traditional lifestyle. What's this, huh? Mmm. Though these days, Lokes is not feeding into any tradition. Yeah, roll it just like you're eating corn off the cob, I guess. Lokes traded in his last cows for llamas almost 16 years ago. My dairy friends that we had at the time thought I was probably crazy to sell out when we did. And right about now, you're thinking you've seen stories like this before. A different kind of farmer who does stuff like... Mm -hmm. Now that's a llama kiss. And we'll talk your ear off about how... They're like the easiest animals to take care of. But follow Lokes away from the llamas and into the barn where calves were once born. We've just had a ton of success doing, <laughs> doing what we do, I guess. We're betting you haven't seen anything like this trophy room. We're one of the top uh, show, you know, llama exhibitors in all of North America. Lokes has rows and rows of ribbons, some associated with thousands of dollars in reward money for showing his llamas at national and international competitions. He, his wife Barb, and their adult children have raised repeat world champion animals. There's so much fun, and you don't have to milk them twice a day. The Lokes family has won so many awards that... As you can see by our pile here, we just haven't had time and a place to keep putting more, and we need a bigger room, I guess. And back outside amongst the llamas, Lokes explains... We won't even take our best animals with us. You know, we'll take our, what we would call our B team. And, uh, you know, and then we would still clean house with our B team at some shows. Hi, Surreal. Come on. To Barb, the llamas are like pets. Come on, Jasmine. Beyonce, come here. She knows most of their names. Especially in this bunch that has the older girls. This is what a show llama looks like. To her husband, husband, it's more about he business. He was our uh, uh, national champion Surrey male. And business, albeit a non-traditional one in cow country, Wisconsin, is good. Oh, yeah, I would never go back. No, this is uh, much more fun. Lokes also grows pumpkins at his farm and hosts a harvest festival this time of year where you can see and meet the llamas. We have information about that on our website, fox6now.com. In the newsroom, Henry Rossoff. Fox 6 News. Even the B-team llamas are big hitters. How about that? For the record, Henry tells us he was not...